Yo, what is going on guys? It is Orion X here, back again with another video. Today we're going to be doing something that I'm very excited for. We're going to be doing two things actually. Number one, we're going to be getting the brakes painted, the calipers painted on the RCF. And number two, we're going to be also getting spacers installed at the same time since the wheels are going to be off anyways. I found this guy uh, down like in Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and he said he would install the spacers for free. I'm um, paying him, you know, for the caliper painting, so I have the spacers here. I have H&R 15 millimeter all around. So we're going to be going a little bit wider. If you guys have an RCF, you know that this gap in here is just, I don't know, the wheels are just tucked a little bit too much, especially in the front. Uh, like from this angle, I don't know, man. But we're going to be out about 15 millimeters is about a half of inch, so it's going to be a half of inch wider in the front and also a half of inch wider in the back. I can't wait to see how that looks. Better for photos and stuff, just has a cleaner stance for sure. The calipers right now are painted black from the factory. Uh, they look all right, but there's some spots that are starting to chip. Like you can see the little spot right there that's chipping. And then this side is actually a lot worse. You can see a giant chip here. And every time I wash the car or even try to wash the calipers, it just gets worse and worse and keeps peeling, which sucks because this car only has like 22,000 miles on it and I didn't expect that to happen already but same thing on the back ones but you know they're more minor tips it's just oh someone's calling me decline really the only major chip is that one in the front but it's bothering me so we're gonna have the brakes totally refinished let's just say that it's gonna be a beautiful matching color with the blue we're also gonna be doing an OEM look we're gonna be getting the F decals that come on the 2016 RCF and GSF and newer. On the 2015, like my car, all you get is the Lexus on the brakes. You don't get the little F logo. So the guy that's painting my brakes, he has the F logos, which is awesome. I really didn't even want to do it without those. I want to make it look as OEM as possible, and we're going to get a cool color on there, guys. Trust me, it's going to match very good. And to be honest with you, I haven't even decided what color yet. Like, at first I wanted to do the same blue as this wrap, but then I don't know how long the wrap is going to be staying on the car, and I don't know what color I'm going to make the car next. So I didn't want to have that blue on the brakes, and then, like, totally change the color and have it not match. So I'm not sure yet. Like, there's a dark blue metallic color that a lot of people put. I know some of the BMW M4s come with that on the brakes. I'm really not 100% sure yet, so I'm not even clickbaiting it like this. I just don't know 100% but I have a very good idea of what I'm gonna make them if you don't yet follow me on Instagram go ahead and do that right now I'm gonna put it on screen um, I post a lot of stuff on Instagram before YouTube just small clips and stuff like that and I also posted a story about the calipers and did like a little bit of a vote and had people send me colors that I think would look nice also if you're not subscribed yet make sure to do that right now turn on post notifications so you'll get a notification whenever I upload a video because obviously you want to watch it right, that's enough of this intro I am starving it's like 1230 and I just got out of bed uh, the place we're going to by the way is this guy called Diego's garage I'm gonna put that on screen right now you guys can go check him out I've seen him do a lot of caliper painting probably has like 50 different paintwork jobs on calipers on his page so I trust him let's hope that he doesn't mess it up like the last person did with the wrap I hate putting my car my beautiful baby in the hands of other people but I guess we got to trust you know some people for this type of work that we want done because I'm not really the best painter myself so that's it let's get to it I'm sure you guys might see some driving clips on the way down there it's about 25 minutes away and I will see you guys in a minute pulling up now I didn't get any driving clips on the way there because I was eating almost just spilt the tea that's great but the owner has a GTR so we'll take a look at that in a second I'm just gonna pop in here and say hi and show him the color I want Here we go. 
So the car is all prepped. We're just waiting for him to start doing the whole thing. Looks like he's almost ready now. Little Porsche Boxer just pulled up. While he's inside painting the brakes, I figured we'd step outside for a minute and take a look at his GTR that's sitting out here. It's a 2014, and he's got some nice stuff done to it. I mean, I don't know what kind of performance modifications he has, but it looks really nice. He's got wheels on it, and his calipers are like a neon green. He's got the Nissan and Brembo logos. And he's got a nice wing on the back too with some carbon. Man, these GTRs get me every time. All right, I'm just waiting outside now. My phone is dead, pretty bored. It's hot out here, but he's spraying paint inside, so I really am not trying to breathe all of that in. Um, as of right now, we're pretty much done. He's spraying clear right now, and you guys have probably already seen a cool little video that I put together for you of the process. But we got the OEM F decals on too, and they look great. It literally looks OEM, which I'm not even trying to fake that I have a 2016 car because the 2016 car comes with the orange and the F logos. But I was going to put the F logos anyways and the orange just contrasts with the blue wrap so well. When you guys see it all put back together, you're going to be amazed, which I haven't even seen it all put back together yet, but it's, it's looking so good so far. Glad to know that Diego does good work. He's not cutting any corners and you can tell that he really does take pride in what he does. Alright, so this is what they're going to look like. The clear coat is just drying but it looks crazy. I thought it looked good before, but the clear coat just added an enormous amount of shine. And wow, I am just stunned. The camera does not justify like how good this looks right now. Well, it does actually, but not as much as, you know, your eyes. I had an option to do a more neon orange color. He wanted like an extra 30 bucks, but I'm glad I went with this because this looks literally OEM and I don't really, I, the car already pops enough so I don't think we need neon, but this looks close enough to neon to me. Okay. All right, that was smooth. <laughs> <laughs> the painting is all done, the calipers look great. Now we're gonna go ahead and install the spacers. The car is down off of the lift. Look at that. This is like the scariest part of the whole thing right here. Damn, that orange is really popping. Oh my god, that's crazy. It looks great. God, I love this color combo so much, guys. I wish you could see it in person. Y'all gotta pop out to the car shows that I attend to see this because it is really an eye catcher. Oh my God. I don't think we could have done better with the color, man. I don't know. <laughs> that match is really good. We're gonna get a sound clip out of the GTR, of course. Oh yeah, I told him about Little Rev. <laughs> Oh yeah. Thank you to 
Diego, Diego's Garage. <laughs> Little fist bump. <laughs> Appreciate it, he did great work. You guys will see more in a minute. My camera's about to die. Bye. Ooh, all right, we're back in the car now, ready to leave. I don't even know what to say. Like, you guys, I know you can't tell in person, but it has made such a difference. The spacers were a must. I can't believe I went that long without spacers. Like, the wheels are out a little bit pretty much like flush with the car i did 15 millimeter like i said all around and it made such a difference oh my god and the brake calipers i don't even know what to say i'm gonna stop by my girlfriend's now to show her see if she even notices a difference probably not you guys know how girls are with cars but i'll see you guys in a little bit the camera might die so i don't know when i'll see you but i'll see you all right i guess this is the next time y'all are seeing me i just finished editing the video and i realized i never really showed that many clips of what the wheels look like with the spacers so I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a good look right now. This is what the back looks like. It sticks out a little bit. You can see more towards the bottom of the tire. And in the front, the front is pretty much flush in the same, you know, with the bottom, it comes out. But I'm telling y'all, this looks so much better like this. The fitment is just way more on point. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. If you were to see in person, you would really know. But this is a modification that I would 100% recommend to anybody. That is gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a like, comment, any questions or anything interesting you have down below. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.